Our workers are at our best when we're building stuff. So today I'm also announcing the next step in our effort to cut through red tape that keeps big construction projects from getting off the ground. Now, uh, some of you, if, if you've heard me, I'm really big on us rebuilding our infrastructure in this country. You know, I want to put people back to work improving our roads, our bridges, our airports, our ports. You know, we were talking about the Panama Canal. The Panama Canal is being revamped down in Panama so that it can accommodate even bigger ships. And uh, these, the, 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 these, uh, these, these cargo ships are, are so big that if we don't remodel our ports here in the United States, they can't dock at our ports. They'll dock someplace else. We'll lose that business. So we've got we've to up our game when it comes to infrastructure. And the good news is when you do that, you're putting people back to work right away, operating dredging equipment and doing other stuff. And you're also laying the foundation for future economic growth. Now, the problem is, you know, we've had some trouble out of Congress just going to go going ahead and uh, funding. I know it's surprising, isn't it? Uh, but, 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 but we've had a little difficulty uh, getting our Republican friends to, to work with us to, to find uh, a steady funding source for these projects that everybody knows needs to happen. But in fairness, one of the problems we've had in the past is, is that sometimes it takes too long to get projects off the ground. You know, there are all these permits and red tape and planning and this and that, and some of it's important to do, but we could do it faster. Today, I'm directing agencies across the government to do what it takes to cut timelines for breaking ground on major infrastructure projects in half. And what that will mean is, is that construction workers get back on the jobs faster. It means more money going back into local economies, and it means more demand for outstanding dredging equipment that is made right here in Baltimore. <laughs>